Where do we put these tourniquets on? So you bought yourself a tourniquet, you think you're prepared, but where do we put it? So if you've only been trained in high and tight when in the fight, meaning you're gonna put it on as high as you can above the wound, on the limb, when you're in a fight, meaning you're in a dangerous environment. That stemmed from the military when they're uh, care under fire. So they're in a combat zone, they're returning fire. There's no time to expose the wound. You go high and tight. Now, what does that mean for civilians? Well, civilians are never really in a gunfight, right? Well, not necessarily. So the way we want you to remember is, is this. If you're a civilian, a first responder, or obviously in the military, if you're in an environment where you don't have time to make a decision because of your safety, because of maybe the environment, like low light, maybe you're on the freeway and there's traffic and you gotta get out of the way, or you're in an uncontrolled uh, vehicle that has a gas leak and you're a firefighter doing an extrication and the person has a bleed, you go high and tight in the fight because that's your fight. It doesn't necessarily mean bullets are flying over your head. So remember, if I have a wound that's anywhere on this arm or on the leg, and I'm in an environment where I don't have time to rapidly assess exactly where the injury is, and I don't want to make a mistake and miss a wound, then I go high on the limb as possible, okay? I'm gonna pull as tight as I can. So I go high, 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 tight, tight, tight. I bring it all the way around, and I'm gonna start turning this rod in any direction until there's no more bright red blood from this wound. I can bring this strap back. Okay, some people like to go through it. I'm okay with just like this. And then the time uh, strap goes over it. This is gonna basically stop all circulation to this arm. Now, what is the downsize to this? The higher you go up on a limb, there is more chance of failure because there's more tissue to compress. So the higher on the limb means you're gonna catch everything, but also means lower success rate. That's what the data is showing. So we'll compare that here to a few inches above. So when do you go two to three inches above? So we look at this wound here. I basically take my palm of my hand, I put it over the wound, that gives me two to three inches. So if I'm in an environment where I have full light, I'm not afraid of any hazards, this is not a, uh, a very dynamic environment, I have time to expose the wound. Maybe I was in an environment that was dangerous and I pulled them back to an area where there's enough cover and time to make a, a good decision. I can look, okay, I got a couple inches above the wound. Now I can go just above the wound and again, pull my tourniquet tight, take all the slack out. This is one of the common mistakes. Okay, I bring it through. Sorry, don't bring it through yet. Um, turn it as tight as I can. Stop all the bleeding. Bring my strap through and I'm gonna close it off. Why is this better? Less tissue to compress than up on the arm or you think about a thigh. I'm still a couple inches away from this wound and this is gonna give me optimal success because there's less tissue to compress. So the key takeaways are this. High and tight when in the fight, when you are perceiving a threat, when you feel that the environment is unstable, okay? Not what some guideline is telling you that is meant for just soldiers, okay? That's where it all came from. So high and tight when in the fight, when you perceive it. And then two to three inches above the wound when you are perceiving that you have time to expose and check, all right? So remember, if you do this right away though, and you are in the fight and you miss an exit wound up here, they're gonna bleed to death. So again, this is our first trauma pack challenge. Um, we, we told you who we challenge. We urge you to share your experiences, share videos, use the hashtag trauma pack challenge. We're gonna pick winners throughout the month. And uh, this is how we all learn. This is how we all grow as an industry, as a community that's built around survival and resilience. So thanks for watching. Let's have a great Stop the Bleed month. Let's share videos. Let's uh, expand our knowledge and all be a safer and more resilient community. And as always, Let's save lives together.